in this module learning objectives are reading right censoring data comparing survivals between two group greenwood formula using r hello everybody in this module we are going to illustrate the actual estimator the software r will be used to illustrate the actual estimation procedure in actual estimation the main problem or work is to done by live table techniques the construction of live table one of the important factor here once we construct the live table through consideration of column of like time interval follow up time of the patients and that follow up times the status of the patients alive or death like things we once we observe thereafter we apply the estimation procedure to find out the group wise or strata wise survival estimates of the group of or cluster of the patients here we will use some available package in r to illustrate the application of survival analysis for actual estimations in this module we will see how to handle the censoring observations specifically the right censoring observations how to look about the presence of right censoring observations into the data set how to apply the kaplan meier estimation procedure and presentation of kaplan meier graphs and the interpretation through kaplan meier graphs we will see and thereafter we will see the application of greenwood methods to estimate the kaplan meier estimator let's start in this module with r introduction here is a leukemia data survival data taken from reports books it's published in 1997 where first variable is time and for each patients times are taken as 9 months 13 months 13 months 18 months like that so first individuals follow up times was 9 months second individual follow up time was 13 months like that second variable is status again 1 1 0 1 1 0 like that is given so first patients at 9 months he died second patients at 13 month he or she died third patients at 13 month he information he was not died so it's a third patients having the sensor observations fourth patients not sensor again sixth patient having the sensor of now the third variable is sex is represent as 1 and 2 if patients is male then it is represent as 1 patient female then it is represent as 2 now assigning another variable that is called x and x represent through maintained and not maintained you can get the details illustration about the data set into the reference but here two kind of experiment were given to the patients either maintained or not maintained i am not going into detail the experiment but patient were separated randomized into two groups either they were given into maintained leukemia therapy otherwise non maintained leukemia therapy now how to assign the data set here data dot frame functions used to assign the variable time status x and sex as a variable as a database called aml aml now assign it's having variable called time status x and sex now we are going to use the package called library survival and in that package we will illustrate our learning objectives our objective is to what is the treatment difference the therapeutic treatment difference on survival duration of patients so this is our hypothesis hypothesis is that there is not any survival duration difference between two treatment effect where the treatments one is maintained another treatment was not maintained 
for the leukemia patients and we will test that really the treatment difference present or not. So, what is our alternative hypothesis? Our alternative hypothesis there is a treatment difference between those groups that is maintained and not maintained groups into their survival durations and null hypothesis there is not any treatment difference between these two groups. Let us see what is the R code? First line reading the data. If we put SURV and into that parenthesis we put the time and status and these two variable if assigned as into the another variable another value through S and if we call S we will get the information about the sensor and non sensor. See, we already mentioned the third individual's status were given as 0. So, he or she was censored observation. So, here in corresponding the third patient's information we are getting 13 plus. Again, sixth patient information we go we given as 0. So, status was 0. So, corresponding six patient's information are coming 28 plus. So, like that the patient sensor are coming 16 plus, 45 plus, 161 plus like that. Other patients who have died, the total absolute follow up periods are given like 9, 13, 18, 23, 31, 34 like that. So, this is the way to check in your data set the observations having censored observations presence or not that is a way to check. Another way we will see how to handle the sensor observations through simple syntax. Code to handle the right sensing data. Suppose we are generating a variable called lifetimes and it is having it is assumed through the random number generations through from the exponential distributions with total number of in variable will be generated is 25 and with the rate exponentials rate with 0.2. So, exponential distribution having mean 2 with 25 random number will generate and that generation will be will be assigned as a lifetimes. Secondly, we will call the sense times that is represent the censoring times and it is again generated from 5 plus 5 into R uniforms and it is also having 25 observations. So, here we are having two variable one is lifetimes another one sensor times both are generated as random number one is from exponential distribution and another one from uniform distribution. Now, we are assigning third variable that is z times and z times is given as a logic that the minimum between lifetimes and sensor times sense times will be considered as z times. So, we are having 25 observations as lifetimes, we are having 25 observation as sense times. Between these two observations, the observation having minimum value will be considered as z times. And this logic again can be can be taken considered here as status as numeric, it is a function as dot numeric and into there we will put sense times greater than lifetimes. So, now stat if we put enter the status you will get the patients having sensor or not into a similar pattern that we have seen in our earlier slide that is a way to handle the censoring observation. So, here this is the random number generated. Now, if you having real life data, so real life data can be assigned as as dot numeric into there you are having observations separate observations having censor and separate ha observation having only the death patient. Now, the patients having greater than value will be considered as status. 
comparing survival between treatments. Here we use the function called serve feed and into the parenthesis again it's the RV function used assign the time and status of the patients and thereafter as a covariate of interest we use the variable called x where x is assigned as a string variable where maintained and non maintained therapy were given and thereafter we call the data equals to AML. Once we enter the fit once and thereafter we put the summary fit then we will get the details inter inference about the data that we will go into next slide. This is separately for patient treated with maintained therapy where the first column showing the time interval that I mentioned earlier and for time intervals like 9 months, 13 months, 18 months, 23 months, 31 months, 34 months and 48 months observations are taken. Now patients were at risk at 9 months were 11, once the time shifted from 9 to 13 months then patients number were at risk at were 10. So one patient died that is why patient number of risk dropped down to 10 from 11 and that patient included as n dot even into the column. 3 as a first row. So, if we include, if we add 10 number of patient rigs plus number of event occurred, we will get the earlier row observation that is 11, 10 plus 11, 1 will be 11. So, basically it is providing the step functions for survival curves. Again, once we go from 13 to 18 months, in 18 months during these 5 months patient died were 1 and n patients were at risk were 8, maybe here another patient's information is taken as sensor observations because we have seen the earlier slides that third patients were censored. So, information he or she was not having any death so or even so that patients were not included here otherwise another patients were died during 13 to 18 months. So, number of events coming as 1 and total number of patients coming at end of 18 months are 8. Again like that the curves probability is keep on decreasing survival probability keep on decreasing. If you assume that n minor this is as a small n and this value third column value as d then estimate at time point 2 can be taken as n minus d by n. Then after that estimate at time point S2, S3 actually will be 10 minus 1 by 10 like that. So, ultimately survival's probability will be point like 0 0.9 thereafter 0 0.81, 0 0.71, 0 0.61, 0 0.49, 0 0.36, 0 0.18. So, see here the survival's probability keep on decreasing once the survival's time keep on increase. It cannot be more than 1, it cannot be less than 0, it will be maximum value will be 1 for this survival probability and minimum value will be 0. Once time will be infinite, the survival probability value will come to 0. At infinite time, nobody will alive, so survival probability will be 0, but initial time points all patient will be alive, so probability of survival will be 1 that is success, chances are 100 percent. So, this value 0 0.9 to 0 0.81 coming by 10 minus 1 by 10 multiplication with 11 minus 1 by 11 that is 0 0.8. Again 0 0.71 estimates coming by 
10 minus 1 by 11 into 10 minus 1 by 10 into 10 8 minus 1 with by 8. So, that is why 11 minus 1 by 11 times into times 10 minus 1 by 10 times 8 minus 1 by 8 the, this value are, are coming and the standard errors are coming in addition to the formula and the standard errors assignment we will come with the Greenwood formula here. The lower confidence intervals is 0.75 and upper is obviously 1 and these way the confidence interval value keep on changing and obviously here the at the end of 48 time unit the confidence interval comes between 0 0.03 to 0 0.94 like that. If we go for again for the patient treated with non not maintained then the times intervals are separately like 5, 8, 12, 23, 27, 30, 33, 43, 45 and again number of individual were at risk at initial 12 after that 10, 8, 6 like that and again the individuals remain. So, same like for non-maintained patient also. So, basically the functions here the SURV time status and assigning with the functions assigning with the variable x it is giving the summary fit for maintained patients survival informations estimates and non-maintained patients survival in interventions separately and thereafter we will see intervention. Now, we will go something more on to that we will go how to plot the data. If we assign the surf fit the same assignment as a leukemia dot SURV and then thereafter we put the plot leukemia dot SURV then we will see the graphs. See here one important thing is that legion assign where the code for maintain and not maintain will be be shown into the graphs. If we put 50 that will be x axis wise 50 value will be started value and y axis wise 0.8 decimal place will be taken to assign the assign the um, value for to show the maintain and non maintain graph. Let us see what is happening for that. Now another line will be given as kaplan meyer curves for leukemia study case to case basis you can change the title of the graph based on your study interest or study title. Now see how the graphs looks like these are the graphs for maintain and non maintain see these lines are showing for maintain patients and this line showing for non maintain patient here it is obvious that maintain patients are having good survival in comparison to non maintain patient. Here we have mentioned that we, we in the legion functions we mentioned that 50 comma 0.8. So, 50 is assigning to start at this this value to assigning this into the graphs maintain and non maintain and thereafter 0.8 also putting the plots where the legion or tag will be given to mention the maintain and non maintain. Now come to the next slides comparing survivals between two groups. Again the informations are given at recorded informations, maximum informations, number of start during the study, event informations, medium survivals for maintained group, median survival for non maintained group, 95 percent confidence intervals for maintained groups as 18 and 8 as a 95 percent confidence interval for non maintained groups like that. Now, we will go to the survival graphs. Once we consider we replace the variable x here by 6 and again if we put the same informations coming for in place of 6. If we plot in here in place of here if we put the fit fit 2 then we will also get the information like earlier slide for separate estimates for male and female as well 
I didn't mention here, but we will get that result as well. Now coming to the third objective that is Greenwood form methods. Here in earlier slide we have seen when we are having data with maintain and non maintain then we found the standard error. Now standard error is having different procedure to calculate the standard error. One method is formulated as Greenwood methods where uh, I'll, I'll once the theory part we we'll already mentioned that method to calculate the Greenwood methods but here if we assign as in addition to the survival fit that we already mentioned serv time and status and corresponding vector as x and thereafter data equals to aml and thereafter error equals to c green hood then the standard standard error will be formulated through kaplan mayer the outputs are likes here 